garden of a day in Wormwood Forest. Hello, boys and girls. Once again, it's time for another visit with our friends down in Wormwood Forest. Hey, hey, don't run away. Listen a while, you'll want to stay. There's always lots of fun down in Wormwood Forest. Hello, everybody. This is Dippy Dwarf. Today, Barbecue Pig is disturbed by noises in the Dwarf Wardor. So don't leave your radio. Listen to our animal show. There's always lots of fun down in Wormwood Forest. Oh, horrors! What's all that racket upstairs? A pig can't even have peace and quiet in her own hotel room. I'd better trot up there and see what the matter is. I'm sure that noise is coming from the third floor. It's coming from the frog's room. Oh, heavens, he's making so much noise he can't even hear my knock. Oh, Franklin, frog! Frog to the door! What you want? Uh, oh, hiya, barbecue pig. Franklin, frog, I'm hey, so That's bad. me in the flesh, green flesh. <laughs> How are you today, pig? I'm disgruntled, that's what I am. And it's all because of you. Me? What have I done? You made so much noise that I can't sleep. I've made noise? Pig, how you do, carry on. How I carry on? Well, only now you were at it again. Well, I haven't been doing anything but practicing basketball and my tap dancing at the same time. So that explains it. Do you have to practice in the room right above my room? But this is the only room I have, Pig. Hmm, I'll not stand for such a racket. I'll, well, I'll... Well. I'll see the manager of this hotel at once. Uh, tell him hello for me, Barbecue. <laughs> I'll go down these steps as fast as my pig feet will carry me. Be careful of those loose steps. Don't you tell me what to do, Franklin Frog. Good day. <laughs> now, down one more flight to the lobby and then... Well, watch out for that bad step, pig. I do wish you'd be quiet. I can watch out for my... Oh, oh! Step is loose. Help, I'm falling. Oh! My poke chop. My pig snooze. Hey, pig. Did you hurt yourself, pig? Hey, dwarf. Hey, hey, here. Let me help you up. Oh, hey. my pig knuckles. Here we go. Oopsie daisy. There. <laughs> Horror. My dress. <gasps> I've wrinkled it. There now. I believe you're all right, barbecue. Are you sure I haven't been injured? Only your dignity, pig. Dippy dwarf, I could sue you. Sue me? You're the manager of this hotel, aren't you? Well, well, yes. I've always been the manager of the Dwarf Waldorf. Then why don't you fix those steps? Oh, the steps. They are sort of tumble down. <laughs> tumble down is right. I've never tumbled down so many steps before in all my bone days. But I'm awfully sorry, Pig. I'll have those steps repaired this very day. And that's not all, Dippy Dwarf. I wish to complain about the noise in this hotel. Noise? Well, I rather thought this was a very quiet hotel. With frogs tap dancing and basketball going on in the room above mine. Oh, don't tell me that frog's up to something new. This is the last warning, Dippy Dwarf. If we can't have peace and quiet in this hotel, I shall take drastic measures. Yes, barbecue pig. And with that thought in mind, I shall go to my dressmakers. Or should I say, to my couturier. Oh, reservoir. Well, this calls for drastic action. I'd better tuck my beard in my pocket and get going over to Susie's skunks. Susie Skunk's house, the old Badger residence. Ah, there's the woodchuck's car, right by the door. Oh, oh do we Susie would have this old doorbell rewired? It's shocking. If your name is Robert and you're selling bobby pins, I don't... Oh, hello, Dippy Dwarf. Hello, Susie Skunk. Is Dumb Cluck the woodchuck here? Yes, he's in the parlor eating salted truffles. I'd like to see him for a minute, if you don't mind. Oh, thank you. I'll go call him. Oh, Dumb Cluck, my woodchucky. What is it, you sweetie shoe? Dippy Dwarf wants to see you. Where is he? At the front door. Well, very well. I'll go see what he wants. And while you're doing that, I'll straighten up my sewing basket. Oh, gracious, what a mess it is. I really should be neater about my sewing. Pine needles loose in the basket. And what is this acorn cup doing in here? Oh, yes, I used it for a thimble. Goodbye, Dippy. Well, Susiekins, where were we? We were sitting before the fire, toasting our tootsies. Mm, yes, of course. 
And I was whispering sweet nothings into your ear, dear. You may resume, Woodchucky. Mm, all right. And lean your little furry head on my shoulder. Like this? Yes. <laughs> now, whisper the sweet nothings. Sweet nothings. Sweet nothings. Sweet nothings. Oh, Chucky, you're so romantic. Then why shouldn't I be? My darling, my darling, I wanted to call you my darling for many, many a day. <laughs> my darling, my darling, get used to the name of my darling. It's here to stay. I can't think about anything or anyone else. What did Dippy Dwarf want? Uh, he wanted to buy my little old car. Did you lend it to him? Well, of course. There are times when the thing a man needs most is four wheels. <laughs> it certainly was nice of the woodchuck to lend me his little old car. Oh, there's the grasshopper's junk shop. Sure hope he has the junk I need. Eh, better get out and have a look at the junk. Oh, there's the grasshopper sitting on a can of rabbit tobacco. <laughs> Hello, Gerald Grasshopper. Whoa, whoa. Hi, short dwarf. How are things at your red dog, crubby little hotel? Not too good, Gerald. The pig fell down the steps. Gotta have some repairs. Oh, the pig? No, on the steps. You know, some pigs is awful careless. I once knew a pig. No, I've come to think of it was a hog. He was a terrible boar, terrible. I need some nails, Grasshopper. Oh, you're so bad you can chew nails, huh? Pretty hard on your teeth, ain't they? Nails, that is. I want the nails for hammering to fix the steps up on the stairs. Oh, the steps up on the stairs. Reminds me of a song. Oh, let's build a stairway to the stars. A lovely stairway to the stars. Why, I sure do have a sweet singing voice. I want nails, Grasshopper. And I also need a bit of carpeting to put on the repaired steps. Carpeting? You haven't even got the steps fixed yet? Aren't you sort of getting the carpet before the horse? This isn't a job for a horse. It isn't? No! This is a job for the Eager Beaver Building Corporation. Ah, greetings and salad dressing, Dwarf. Welcome to the Eager Beaver Building Corporation. Hello, Eager Beaver. I have a little job for you. A little job, you say? Well, just let my beavers tackle it and it'll soon be a big job. Yes, sir. Yes, indeedy. I want some steps repaired in my hotel, the Dwarf Waldorf. Aha, uh -huh, a repair job. There's nothing we like better. And when the Eager Beaver Building Corporation undertakes a job, it's no sooner undertaken than the customer is taken for a ride. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Well, it won't be long now till everything will be fixed. Oh, good afternoon, Kitty. Around. Hello, Dippy. I thought I heard the pig quarreling with you about an hour ago. Yes, she was angry about the noise in the hotel. Noise? Has anyone been making noise? It seems Frankie Frog was. Tap dancing, basketball, you know. I'll see that he keeps quiet. Oh, that'll be awfully nice of you, Kitty. Don't mention it. I'll go right upstairs now. Around Frankie Frog's room is on the third floor. Oh, oh what's that? It's the turtle snoring. Tim, wake up. Sound asleep. I'll tap him with his toothpick. Timothy Turtle, wake up. Uh, uh, hi, what's happening? Round your snoring, Turtle, that's what. It's a natural thing to do, Kitty. I always snore. Oh. Uh, Don't you dare go back to sleep, Turtle. Can't help it. I'm sleepy. The pig wants this hotel kept quiet, so don't you dare go to sleep and snore. Oh, what's the turtle to do? <laughs> if I can't sleep, I'll ruin my health all those oh, late hours. Stop it. I'll waste away. I'll get so thin my shale won't fit anymore. <laughs> my poor shale. Your shale, Tim, that's it. What's what? 
crawl way back in your shell, and then your snores won't sound so roisterous. Hey, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I'll just pull my head in like this, and now I can snore as loud as I please. <laughs> oh, oh, awfully tired. Ralph, that takes care of that noise. Now, up these stairs. <laughs> And into Frankie's room. I have one sure way to keep Frankie quiet. Good idea. Yeah, I'm not making any noise. Oh, hi, you kitty baby. Oh, Ralph. Hello, Dream Frog. May I come in? The sure thing, kittykins. Shall we sit here on the bench? It's not very soft. Oh, Ralph, but my fur is. It, it sure is. Cuddle up a little closer, kitty mine. Oh, Cuddle up and be my little clinging vine. I like to feel you know so rosy. Like to see you comfy, cozy. For a love from head to toesy. Kitty mine, I really mean it. Kitty mine. Oh, Frog, this is much better than making noise, isn't it? You bet you're buried, is, kitty baby. Yeah. Oh, hey. listen, that noise again. Yeah, it's worse than ever this time. And I'm not making it. But will the pig believe it? Why don't you go downstairs and tell her so, Frog? Okay, kitty. You stay right where you are, because I'll be right back. Franklin, Frog! I'm coming right down, pig. Franklin, I thought I told you to stop making so much noise. I'm not making that noise, pig. Honest, I'm not. Well, if you're not, then who is? I don't know. Reach me. Listen. Listen to it. That's the noise, and I'm here with you. So you are. The manager of this hotel is going to hear a thing or three from me. Stand aside, bro. Careful with your hoof, pig. Dippy dwarf. Oh, dippy dwarf. What is it, pig? That noise again. And just a moment, pig. We the beaver. Could you stop work for a minute? Horse, dippy. Beavers. Take five. <laughs> Now everything is quiet. Yes, sir. Yes, indeedy. Thank you, Eager Beaver. Now, what is it, pig? Come up the steps this instant, Dippy. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) The beavers are repairing the stairs there. Oh, that's what the noise is. Yes. After this, you won't fall down the steps, pig. How right you are. I'll have the elevators. It it. What do you mean? I mean, I won't stay in this hotel any longer than necessary. If the Eager Beaver Building Corporation can repair this hotel, they can build a new hotel for me. Build you a new hotel? Yes, then I won't be troubled about noise. But, Pig, if you have a hotel, it'll ruin my business. Dwarf, as far as I'm concerned, I'll give you the business. Pardon me while I make arrangements with the Eager Beaver. Oh, me. Rogue, did you hear that? Yeah, I sure did, Dippy. The pig's going to build a rival hotel. Oh, don't worry, Dippy. When she builds her hotel, we can fix it. How? We'll recommend it to all the termites and woodpeckers. (laughs) We hope the frog is joking about the termites, but jokes are no jokes. We can count on the new hotel for rooms of laughs with our animal friends down in Wormwood Forest. Hey, hey, that's all today. We're so glad that you could stay. There's always lots of fun down in Wormwood Forest. Till next time, Kitty has a tantrum because Frankie helps the pig. Till then, this is Dippy Dwarf saying so long. Remember next Saturday, listen to our animal play. There's always lots of fun down in Wormwood Forest. Wormwood Forest, written by Tom Titchener, has come to you from WSM in Nashville, Tennessee. It's the Battle of the Adenoids when guest Rudy Valley shares billing on the Fred Allen Show tomorrow night. Along with Rudy, you'll hear Fred and all of your favorite Main Street characters. Then listen for Robert Montgomery and Mr. and Mrs. Smith, the dramatic offering on NBC Theater. If you listen all evening long, you'll enjoy a wonderful Sunday on most of these NBC stations. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.